Hi guys, this is an after braces video. Um, basically, I want to talk about the life after braces. What has changed, what is awesome, what is not so awesome, what it feels like to eat, what kind of things I've been eating, that kind of stuff. So, um, first of all, my teeth feel great. Um, I have the retainer in right now, but it's just a clear one. I felt I had a little lisping with the retainer initially, but I've got the hang of gotten the hang of talking with it so far. Um, I also have had a little bit of problems with my lipstick transferring to the clear retainer and like getting like stuff on my teeth and I never used to get lipstick on my braces or lipstick that transferred onto my natural teeth before I had braces but for some reason these retainers just like attract wet lipstick and they're like hey wet lipstick come on stick to us <laughs> so I wouldn't even know and then I would take the retainer out at night and I'd be like oh my gosh in between every single line where your teeth go, I had like red lines where the red lipstick was. And I was like, okay. Um, also, I wanna talk about eating. So, in order to address the lipstick um, problem, I have switched a lot of my lip stuff to matte lip colors, um, a matte finish. This is NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. Um, this is Ibiza is the name of the shade, I-B-I-Z-A. And, um, what I have on my lips right now it's a matte color which means it does not have an, like it doesn't feel wet at all and it does not transfer like I can drink out of a straw right now it lasts a long time it won't transfer onto the straw um, I just put it on I mean barely and that's a red lipstick so uh, very dry um, another option is also to line your lips with a lip liner and then rather than just lining them with a lip liner and putting a lipstick or a lip gloss on top Line your lips with the lip liner, whatever color you have, and then fill them in with that same lip liner as your lipstick. And uh, it'll stain your lips enough, and then just dab barely enough chapstick on the lip to not be crazy with the dryness. Like, whatever amount it takes, a little bit of lip balm or a lot, for you to feel comfortable. It needs to be comfortable to wear. Um, so those are some of my recommendations. I also had some problems where I was like, I know that I'm cleaning my retainer. Like, I know that. I did it. I did a good job. I got it. Soaked it in the cleanser. And then, like, a day later, I would smell something weird. And I'm like, what the heck? Oh, And I, like, couldn't bear the thought of putting that retainer back in my mouth. Like, it disgusted me. Um, so I got these tablets called Retainer Bright. And um, you almost, like, drop them into water. It's like a denture, <laughs> denture whitening, cleaning thing, too, I guess. But... Um, they make them for a retainer specifically, and you just soak your retainer in this water, and it comes out blue initially, and then once the water turns clear, your retainer's clean. So, um, I really liked those. Um, I ordered more, and I actually ordered a Sonic cleaner with it, so I want to do an entire tutorial on how to clean your braces, um, how to clean your retainers, life after braces, sort of a follow-up part two. But uh, I haven't gotten that in the mail yet, so I will definitely be doing that soon. So check back on my channel if you have retainers or are planning on getting them, because I think this could be a really cool tool. It looks neat. We'll see. Um, also about food. So I thought I was going to be eating a lot of candy and junk food, and like I did eat some. Like the day I got them off, the day after I got my braces off, I was eating the candy they gave me from the orthodontist. I bought Starburst, and I was just chewing on chewy stuff. But more than anything, the things I missed was like biting into an apple or um, eating raw celery, raw carrots, raw broccoli, and just eating them. And I was like, oh, this is so nice. So I found myself eating those things. I also found myself eating like corn on the cob a few times in the last couple weeks, which I don't normally eat that often. Um, I also ate um, like steak and things that were kind of hard to chew for me before or I was nervous about chewing because I thought I might break a bracket with something so hard. Um, chips, things like that. So I've been able to eat what I want. Um, and also I want to talk about people's reaction to you getting braces off. So my smile before braces was not that far off from what it is now. I mean, it wasn't, I didn't have them on for three years or anything. It was a year and a half. It was a very subtle difference. I just have a, um, an overbite now, little subtle thing. So if you knew, knew me from years ago, you wouldn't be like, man, you got braces. You fixed your teeth. Like it's, it's not very obvious, but um, I was kind of disappointed with how little of a reaction I got from uh, like people at work and stuff about getting braces off. Like nobody noticed. Or if they did, they didn't say anything. And I was kind of bummed. I mean, I told a handful of people that were like my closest coworkers or people that I've known for a while. But like no one said anything. I find myself like wanting to go. 
<laughs> like walking by, I just want to smile at people, and, and then I realize I look kind of creepy, but I'm just so excited to have a nice smile after all these years, you know? But um, I was a little let down by the fact that nobody else was like super excited like me. Uh, I just wanted to, to put that out there in case like you're going to get your braces off soon and you're expecting people to be like, oh my gosh, it looks so good. You know, it's not going to happen. You're going to be the most excited one, which is understandable considering you're the one that has to clean the braces, you're the one that has to floss them and eat with them and all that fun stuff and go to the appointments, but yeah, not that exciting. Um, it still is great, and I don't go back for a follow-up. Um, so I got my braces off two or three weeks ago, and I don't go back. After I got them off, this, the next appointment as a follow-up for the retainer check wasn't for two months. So I still have about five or six weeks before my retainer check. So uh, they really just take them off and leave you on your own for two months. So hopefully nothing has shifted, nothing changes. I've been really good with wearing the retainer. I'm supposed to wear it all day, every day, except when I'm eating. Um, so I've been doing that and I've been chewing gum. Like I'll take the retainer out for like an hour and chew gum at work and then I'll put the retainer back in. And I know like maybe that's bad, but it's so nice to chew gum. Like I still chewed it when I had braces, but I had to be a lot more careful. It wasn't like casual chewing of a gum. I had to be very deliberate and only chew on the, you know, the t part of the teeth that bounce. Cause if they touch the bracket, you'd sit there, have to peel it out. And that was not pleasant. But other than that, that is life without braces. I'm finding myself smiling more, finding myself eating more and more what I want, even healthier, so that's exciting. Um, I find myself wearing more matte lipsticks. Uh, I will tell you a few options. So I already mentioned the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. They have tons of colors. I think these are about $5. Um, and then also the Tarte brand. Um, this is a Glamazon is the name of the lipstick. But this one's out of stock, I think. It's just a nude, kind of a nude brown. And um, colors like that. Um, MAC uh, Cosmetics also has some matte lipsticks that are great. Like I said, you can apply a lip balm before you put these on just to give yourself, or like dab some lip balm right on the top. Do you see how the dry finishes? It's seriously dry. It still gives you the look of makeup, but you're not going to get the transfer to your teeth. Anyway, uh, long story short, I would recommend exfoliating your lips. And um, I use the e.l.f. lip exfoliator, which is like in a lipstick tube, but it's got like a brown sugar scrub. And you just like put it on your lips like a lipstick and it's like kind of rough. And then you wipe it off and your lips are smooth. Because when you wear a matte lipstick like these to avoid the transfer of lipstick to your teeth, it actually kind of um, accentuates any rough skin, dry skin, flakes cracks in your lips, you definitely want to exfoliate. If nothing else, take a toothbrush and rub on your lips to get rid of all that extra skin before you apply a matte lipstick. Um, I think that's it for Life Without Braces. Stay tuned. I will be putting up that video on the cleaning of retainers and my new uh, cleaning retainer toy once it gets here in the mail, probably next week. Thanks, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.